<laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Uh, so to ah, oh, yeah. ah. <laughs> no, it's that because it will be on the we can just show it. So we? we are two gaijin. Yeah. Have Probably we... we will have it somewhere around at the corner of the video. Okay, that's good. So this is us. So two gaijin is a second hand item straight platform for foreigners living in Japan. So if you have anything you want to give away, you want to trade, that's the place to go because we are helping you to connect with new people who want your stuff. Also, we help you to carry your stuff to the new place. Uh, right now, we operate mainly inside Sapporo, but uh, we are also planning to go to other cities like uh, Otaru and then Kuchan and uh, Niseka area. And then as we expand to other cities inside Hokkaido, uh, Japan as well. So, so we are one of the, what we call ECs, yeah. Internet Commerce. And that's a topic we are going to talk about today. Yeah, <laughs> today. it is, it is. <laughs> um, actually, after coming to Japan, I got pretty into this. Uh, it became one of the major stuff that I kind of buy, shopping online. Mm -hmm. Actually, I also have like a online window shopping as well. Window shopping, I see. Yeah, right. So you just okay. check the stuff that you want to buy, which okay. is in your cart all the time, mm -hmm. but you haven't paid yet. <laughs> yeah. thousand dollar. Okay, I see. <laughs> shopping, which is not paid yet and waiting when you kind of. It's just like the city. Hit the trigger. <laughs> yeah, I just see the amount and I just stopped it. <laughs> uh, so we're going to talk about it. And I'm just curious, first of all, I mean, which kind of I mean, which EC you use, especially in Japan? Um, actually, I know most of the foreigners, they use Alibaba or AliExpress quite often. You mean, I mean, you mean Chinese people? Not only Chinese Not people, only Chinese people. Really? Like, I know some, I have some friends from Africa, they also buy their stuff from there. Alibaba? Yeah. Um, of course, the waiting time is quite long, but it's pretty darn cheap. Okay. Like, uh, right now I'm into fountain pens, mm. and I would say you can get pretty good deals there. Mm. Even Japanese are like uh, stacking inside the uh, AliExpress. If you check there, you'll see a lot of people really? buy this stuff from Japan. Mm. Because I think Japanese have this uh, yes karo bad karo. Yes, karo. Right? yeah, exactly. Yeah. But if something is cheap, cheap. It's, it's bad, bad quality yeah. or bad. Yeah. Yes. But now they also get in. Mm. So I think. That's one of the places where like foreigners do okay. buy, including me. I see. Like I think for Japan you need to wait almost for two months sometimes. Two months, okay. So if you buy something, it arrives in within two months. They are imported from China. Yeah. Okay. Um actually in there there are some uh vendors in Taiwan. Mm. If it is Taiwan it's a bit faster. Okay. If it is China it takes some time. Okay. Especially because of this coronavirus. Okay. Okay, let's. We, I think we got a message. Okay. Oh. Ah, uh, there was some interruption. You can ignore, please. Ah, uh, we have no interruption actually. From our side. We okay. Yeah, we there was just one at the beginning. Just yes. One. Okay. I think we can start it. No. So um, <laughs> this is our first rodeo. So <laughs> please excuse us, please. Uh, yes, please. Uh, so uh, <laughs> this is our first rodeo. So please excuse us, please. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, okay. So. I see. So Alibaba is one of the one of them. Okay. I would say I wouldn't say number one. Like okay. in Japan, I think Amazon is number one. That's for sure. Amazon, Rakuten, and Yahoo Shopping. I would say. I was quite surprised when, like, I knew that Yahoo is going down mm. in general. Mm. But in Japan, in Japan, yeah, it's exactly. a different case. Exactly. Uh it's famous for starting anything also. Not, <laughs> I mean, not seeing outside of Japan. I Why? Think. Um, you know, I think Google became famous because it's so simple, yeah, really simple for everyone, and it's easy to quite understand. And there's no news or there's no mm -hmm. um, 
other systems, just searching column. And yeah. That's it. But Japanese people, I think I think if you take a look at like for example uh, Memkari or even uh, Rakuten, they start, like what I mean. There's so many stuff, right? Japanese people like it, especially old people. Not like young people, maybe compared to old people, but old people like it. And maybe at first, like they like to see news. They like to see what's happening right now. Like not on Twitter, not on Facebook, but on search engine. engine. Yeah. So, so far, while I, they are doing something, they look yes. around as well. Yeah, exactly. That's why it became famous. And so, you know, uh, so in Japan, Yahoo Japan is one of the biggest, um, I would say, platforms mm -hmm. for Japanese people. Like you have Yahoo Auction, yeah, right? Yahoo Auction, Yahoo Search Engine, yeah, exactly, Yahoo Mobile, yeah, Yahoo Mobile. <laughs> it's pretty big, exactly, yes, and it is um, um, I would say subsidiary for SoftBank. Okay, so SoftBank is backing up, yeah, them, right, exactly. So um, they like super applications, for that. super website or super application, application, yeah, for shopping, for shopping, and for search searching and everything. I see. So now it makes like uh, I was thinking so, how it became like a very good. Now when you think yeah. like a Japanese like those crammed yeah. websites, Yahoo is the one of them. Yes. As a foreign yes website. I mean so, Japan is a uh, one of the rare com countries <laughs> where Yahoo yeah, is where available. It's available and uh, not available but mostly used. Used. Yeah. As a search engine. Yeah. Search engine. <laughs> it's dead in America. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh -huh. So um, it's kind of unique. Japan. Yeah, I think. And this market is unique in Japan. Yeah, exactly. But when it comes to internet commerce, uh, Rak I mean, Amazon and Rakuten are the famous ones for Japanese people. Um, I was quite surprised when I find out that Amazon is number one in Japan, and then it comes, I think, Yahoo Auction, and then comes Rakuten, and Rakuten is number three. Mm -hmm. And I was all the time confused why it is. Mm -hmm. And when I went there to buy something, maybe it's kind of a very useful for old generation who yeah. needs to lead, see a lot of information yeah. at the same time. Yes. But the Amazon being at the first mm. shows that younger generation wants yes. something simpler, exactly, right? And exactly. more focused on the yeah. service itself mm. instead of uh, complementary stuff. To be honest, I mean, to be honest, I've never used Rakuten or uh, Yahoo shopping before. I've only used Amazon. Amazon. But I asked my um, parents and my grandparents, and they said they are using uh, either Rakuten or oh, yeah. Yahoo Box, Yahoo Shopping. So, it's generation gap, I would say. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. And I, there are more old people in Japan, that's why, you know, Rakuten, Yahoo Shopping. Sometimes you can find quite cheaper, like, yeah, like same thing mm -hmm. in Amazon and Rakuten. In yeah. Rakuten, it is cheaper, but when I want to purchase, mm -hmm. To me, it's a big headache, mm -hmm. so I just gave give up with Rakuten and moved to Amazon Direct. Okay. So, I mean, doesn't it happen in your country also? Because they they should they shouldn't be any they shouldn't be just one EC company, but two or three. I uh, I, I, I think, together. Uh, in my country, like, it probably is more about dominancy. Oh, like really? which, like um, I think before I came to Japan, there was two platforms which were fighting for. Used car sale website. Okay. And uh, one was, I think, uh, Turbo As. Mm. And another one was Auto As. Mm. And uh, Turbo As killed Auto As. Okay. And right now there's just one main website for second hand cars. I see, just one. And it's C2C, mm. right? So they are dominating almost 100% okay. online share of the car sale. Wow. So it's not a, like a website, it's a platform where you, everyone can put their cars. Okay. So in my country, most times it's like becomes some kind of monopoly. Mm -hmm. I don't say it's like a, like a pushed away from the yeah. government, but it's more like a market. It gets used to one thing and yeah. then it's quite difficult to switch them from one to another one until mm -hmm. you get something really, really, really good and free. Because, because switching costs for the people most times is bigger. Is there any um, B2C platform, like B2C Amazon? platforms? Um, some of the platforms are available in my country, but the government is trying to control them uh, because they okay. they don't want 
online platform to kill offline businesses. Mm -hmm. So they try to keep everything mm -hmm. online. Okay. How about in China for me? They mm -hmm. use Alibaba, they use Tencent. Okay, so Tencent is more like a it's the company. Company. Company, yeah. Don't they have like EC, I mean, platform service? Yeah. B2C. B2C, they have, yeah. it's called Tomo. Oh, yeah, it's C2C, it's C2C. Tomo. But for B2C, I think it's called, oh, 1688 in China, it's the Yao Liu Baba. It's like B2C. That's Alibaba, right? Isn't it? No? Yeah. And well, Alibaba is for the international version, but for the Chinese version for yeah. B2C. Chinese Yao Li Baba. Yeah, which is 1688. Mm. I never was like, I was like, why the hell they call the company name, like a website domain 1688? <laughs> now it makes sense. Yao Li Baba. Yeah, that's that's what it means. I mean, aren't there like two or three like platforms which compete together? Oh, yeah. Uh, they have the Taobao and then I Taobao. think they have the they have Tien. Mm. Wait, most no, of no, those no. platforms are no, no, no. built by Alibaba, right? No, there's another one. Oh, and then they have JD.com, which is another one, which is the one that can actually penetrate Indonesian market. It's in Japan, is Zof or Zozo Town? Zozo Town, yeah. That's for right. clothing. That's for clothing. Yes. There is also some other, I think, platforms, like mm -hmm. mainly niche market, like Medicari, which is like for second hand. Yeah. They almost do something what we do. But in Medicari, um, I think it's confusing sometimes. Like if you want to get your money, I still don't know how to get the money in a bank in the mobile version. Okay. Well, yeah, it's quite complicated. Yeah, it's quite complicated to me. I mean, of course, uh, there's no English version. Even if like a Google Chrome translates it, it's still confusing mm -hmm. to find what's where. Like simple stuff, maybe you can understand, but uh, sometimes if you really need something kind of specific, it's mm -hmm. quite difficult to find. Um, other than that, online platforms, mm -hmm. most times, oh, eBay, at the beginning when I came here, eBay was my trusted platform, really. Like I would buy almost anything from eBay and it would arrive within like two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. I know some Japanese people who buy their car parts from eBay. Mm -hmm. Like if you have a Mercedes or a wow. kind of American cars, you will buy the parts from eBay. Mm -hmm. In Azerbaijan? In Azerbaijan, there are different platforms okay, I think okay. for that. In my country, most time there is offline shop, you go and you order, it's cheaper. Mm. It's cheaper than online. I, I see. Because they are bringing it in bulk. Mm. And uh, we have also like a car, a graveyards where you can go and then ask for a detail. They'll open from a used mm. car and then give it. So that's how. So what's, I would say, inconvenient for foreigners to use Japanese platforms? platforms? Yeah. I would say language is number one. Yeah. Okay, let's see if the language is an issue because the Google Translate helps you to translate the whole page into English. I would say in that case, there is too much information. You are getting kind of lost inside the information that you want to, where you want to need to go, what's the next step. Like in Amazon, it shows you what are the next steps. In Rakuten, I wasn't able to move over that much because I don't know what's the next, right? Um, actually, instead of Kind of um, difficulties. I would say there are some really easy stuff that I like doing shopping. Mm -hmm. Number one is the stuff is getting directly to your door, mm -hmm. and they, they don't ask extra money for that. Okay. In my country, probably if something is kind of coming from overseas, mm -hmm. you'll be asked some extra delivery mm -hmm. because they will say like um, the company which sent from let's say China to Azerbaijan, they have sent a fee from China to Azerbaijan. Mm. And inside the country, that fee doesn't cover this delivery. Okay. So that's why you pay extra. Okay. In Japan, it never happened. Mm. I think that's something quite good. Okay. I don't know, maybe in other countries, they also having the same issue. Mm. Uh, because sometimes J uh, Chinese uh, vendors, they sell, they send you, you know, very, the cheapest okay. cost possible. Mm. That's why you need to pay extra maybe. Mm. Another thing I like, uh, it doesn't happen maybe in Alibaba, but 